like a lot of people, a lot of people know who these people are and I'm, I'm getting to be in the room and I got a good record and I'm training next to them. So there's probably something with me, you know, I could be yeah. special. Yeah, definitely. It gives me that confidence, boost, but at the same time, I still know I have, you know, these guys have been working a long time and have proved it in the ring. So I still have a lot to show everybody. Um, so, but it's a great opportunity for me. I'm happy about that to get to work with them. I always feel like when fighters at your point are around world champions, it's almost like college. Like you get to study the mindset. You get to study how they train. You can see the things they do. So then becoming a world champion just becomes a checklist as opposed to like this, this dream. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. So you're studying, are you watching what people are doing on the bag and all that stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. Every time I'm up here, uh, just, just learning, learning a lot from everybody over there. What's the biggest thing you've learned? Well, these guys work hard, you know, and the thing is, you know, up here, everybody's pushing each other. Also, I think the big thing that I gained from being around these guys is, is, you know, when you're around a lot of good fighters, you know, you level up. You know, you have to to, to rise to that. And, and I think that's what's happening with me. It's helping me get get to that level. Just being around them and everybody's working hard. And, you know, I have to work hard, too, if I'm going to be here. I think that's a very honest and real statement is if you want to be elite, you have to surround yourself with the elite. So that becomes normal. Yeah. 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 Tell me about your first pro fight. First pro fight, I was uh, 20 years old. It was uh, over here in Temecula, not too far from, from uh, San Diego. And, uh, yeah, that was my first pro fight. I went uh, uh, the decision, one-on-one -on -one by decision. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, a lot to learn from that fight. You know, it was uh, different, you know, different than the amateurs for sure. But uh, it was a good experience for me. How nervous were you before you walked out? I think pretty nervous, you know, um, but that's part of it. I think, you know, as you fight, as you gain experience, I think that's part of gaining experience is that, you know, you're always going to have that feeling, but you learn how to, how to use that instead of letting it be you, you, you overcome that. No, I get what you're, I get what you're saying there. Uh, you said it was different. I take it. Did you punch yourself out or something? What What's the word different for in that fight? Just the way, um, you know, the amateurs, the scoring is a lot different. So over here, you have to sit on your punches more. You know, your power means a lot. Not as much of a pitter pat. You know, uh, defense is, is very important. You know, you're not wearing the headgear. You're wearing smaller gloves. Um, learning how to work the rounds is another thing. Okay. And uh, talk to me about the hardest pro fight you've ever had, or just hardest fight in general, whether it's amateur or pro. Yeah, hardest one, I think, so far as a pro, especially is uh, that DeMarco fight that I had last year during the quarantine. Um, that one pushed me a lot. You know, I got hit with punches I haven't hit with before. But, um, you know, I was able to finish the fight and, and feel good. You know, luckily I didn't get these in any point of the fight. I five guy handles handled his power well um but he did catch me well you know pretty good with, with some of those uppercuts and um just being able to push past that i feel like i learned that, that adversity and still keep going forward still keep trying still keep pushing well i think though i think that fight is going to be a blessing for you because i think a lot of times young fighters or fighters turning into world champions they don't have that hard fight before they enter the world class fights. And you really need yeah. to have those type of fights because when you get to those fights, I'm talking about boots in this, uh, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, whoever the heck's up there, you're probably going to feel those same feelings again, even if you win the fight, like they're not going to just give you a win just because you're a nice guy. Like you're going to have to earn it. Yes. And you're going to be taken to some weird places because that's what yeah. an elite fighter does to both guys. No, I agree. Definitely. Definitely. It's a lot to learn, especially, like you said, uh, facing, you know, in the future, the, these other names that you've been mentioning, you know, none of those are going to be easy fights. Those are going to be fights that I'm going to have to really dig deep. Yeah, those are those are the those are the fights where you become a legend if you win them. Right. Because those are the fights with fighters that mean a lot to a lot of people across the world. And, and be, yeah. they, when you mean a lot to a lot of people, you've done something. 
So they're not just going to yes. give up everything they worked for just because you're there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, sell me on this fight. When, when how can people tune in? Uh, where do they buy tickets and what the heck are they going to see? They can buy uh, tickets on AXS.com and uh, I'll be the co-main event. The, the main event is uh, Navarrete. And um, yeah, it's going to be in San Diego. I'm excited. I hope that, you know, everybody in San Diego is able to, you know, people, at least people that know me show up and or tune in, you know, it'll be on ESPN Plus. And, and I'm excited. I've been working very hard, you know, and, and I want to put on a show for everybody. Well, I think it's it's a great opportunity for you. You're from San Diego. You've been featured on, I believe, three top ranked cards now. This is this is a moment where you could really have a great performance and make a statement. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking time and I wish you the best. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. No worries. What's up, everybody? It's your good friend Lukey, and I appreciate you watching this video. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview? Look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.